Hi friends, this is Dr. B.P. Alias, Dr. Bapuji Pulepo. Now we are going to discuss about the bilinear transformation mapping problems. They already I told you they will give three points Z1, Z2, Z3 maps onto W1, W2, W3. Then you can assume Z is maps to W. Then you can write cross ratio. Cross ratio what I told you can remember 0, 1, 2, 3. Denominator can write 1, 2, 3, 0. 0 you can feel in heart but don't write a 0. Means what without suffix just W or Z you can write. Now he is telling you see, find the bilinear transformation that maps the point Z1 is equal to minus i, Z2 is equal to 0, Z3 is equal to i into the points W1 is equal to minus 1, W2 is equal to i w3 is equal to plus 1 respectively see again check find the bilinear transformation that maps the point z1 is equal to minus i z2 is equal to 0 z3 is equal to i into the points w1 is equal to minus i w2 is equal to i w3 is equal to 1 respectively so they given three points now we can assume z is maps onto the w now what I told you can remember always cross ratio 0 1 2 3 denominator you can write 1 2 3 0 by cross ratio what can I write 0 means what? It's nothing but W. W minus W1, 0, 1, 2, 3. W2 minus W3. You can start with let Z maps onto W. Then 1, 2, 3, 0. W1 minus W2. W3 minus W is equal to same story you can write here. Z minus Z1. Z2 minus Z3 by Z1 minus Z2 Z3 minus Z2 Everything available or not? Now substitute it slowly. So they will give three points. You can add some Z maps onto a W. So four points in your life, in your hand. Then now we will let 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 0. This is called cross ratio. From this you can find out bilinear as well. You say a lot of methods are there, direct methods and are competent. While doing I will tell you. So substituting in all points you will get W1. This you can remember. So what you will get? Sorry, erased points. Okay, no problem. Just I will copy from textbook. W W one is minus one. So what you will get? Minus one minus i. One minus W. This is equal to what? Z plus sign. 0 minus sign. Minus sign minus 0. Pi minus Z. So W minus W minus W1, W2 minus W3, then W1 minus W2, W3 minus W. Similarly, Z minus Z1. If you substitute it, means what you will get? Better always you can write Z coefficient and W coefficient positively. Here W plus 1, same story. 
this I will change it order time being you can keep like this this is in to time minus 1 suppose if you take minus sign is not i plus 1 this is equal to what this this cancel from this one minus you can take outside you can also one minus this is what into only w plus 1 by w minus 1 already here 1 minus is there minus minus plus so i plus 1 sorry i minus 1 this is what you can write 1 plus i also no problem this is called what you can take minus outside z plus i by z minus i always your aim is what denominator don't keep by on plus i means what conjugate multiply and divide by 1 minus i here and up to here the state taken this 1 minus i taken minus minus plus this is simplification the thing i'm doing now compulsory question bilinear transmission question without bilinear there is no problem this also if you want you can write 1 minus i minus minus also cancel w plus 1 w minus 1 1 minus i 1 plus i 1 minus will come minus z plus i by z minus Now I can conjugate. So what will get W plus one, W minus one, one plus i, one minus i. Already one minus i is there, so one minus i whole square. Multiply and divide by one minus i. Now time being, don't disturb this. Z plus i, Z minus i. You may feel bored by seeing this. You have to open the pen and put on the notes. You can do yourself. Then only you can enjoy the subject. Simply seeing and lift means you cannot get it. It's a mathematics. It's not a history. History means what you can able to see something. You can read and reproduce. Maths not like this. If you do three or four times means what? Fifth time you may get new idea. That is the maths. No subject you will get. So always you can see. <coughs> w plus 1 w minus 1 then if you what you will get a plus b into a minus b a square plus b square 2 this is what you will get a square plus b square b square is what i square i square is minus 1 then minus 2 a b correct or not Then this this also cancel. Then this two two cancel. So what is the balance? W plus one. W minus one is equal to. Sorry. Minus i into z plus i by z minus i. If you want, you can take this i also here. So left side only I will keep W terms itself. So W plus 1, W minus 1, Z plus I by minus I into Z minus I. We want you can multiply and divide by I. So what we get is I square. I square is minus minus plus. So numerator i. So w plus one w minus one multiplying divided by i. So what you will get z plus i into i 
i square i into i is i square this is minus 1 already minus is there so minus minus plus then this is z minus slowly can do there is no hurry now this if you want you can write i z minus 1 by z minus 7. Now we can use component and dividend. Already in your 8th standard you studied component or dividend. What is the compound means what adding, dividend means what subtract. Component or dividend means what suppose a by b is equal to c by d. Compound means what a plus b, dividend means what subtract a minus b is equal to c plus d is equal to c minus d. Component or dividend of formula. Correct or not? I think time lapse. Component or dividend of means what? A plus B by A minus B, C plus D by C minus D. Correct or not? Now, so here who is A W plus 1? Who is B? E w minus 1, who is c, i z minus 1, who is d, z minus i. Now do slowly, this what you will get a plus b. a minus b. Then c plus d. c plus d. then c minus d now what i will get this one one will cancel this w w will cancel Here what you will get z if you take common means what i plus 1 minus if you take i plus 1 divided by if you take z means what if you take i minus 1 then plus i minus 1 if you take minus 1 means what i minus 1 correct or not so from this you can take this fellow also cancel my aim is what w is equal to a z plus b by c z plus d means my job is over so w is equal to if you take i plus 1 common is what? z minus 1. i minus 1 means what? Something wrong. Z if you take i minus 1 minus 1 if you take no, no plus so we here sorry so here no no i minus 1 this is plus 1 now what you will do you can multiply and divide by what if you want minus i minus 1 after simplification you may get i into this time skipping i into after simplification you may get minus 1 by z minus 1 by z plus 1 this you can conjugate automatically to cancel everything 
so this is the way of doing then few problems i will do you can try z2 is equal to 0 z3 is equal to 1 w1 is equal to 0 w2 is equal to i this is very easy two zeros are there w3 is equal to 3i if you substitute what you will get w is equal to minus 3i z plus 1 by z minus 3 then z1 is equal to 2 z2 is equal to 1 z3 is equal to minus 2 w1 is equal to 1 w2 is equal to i w3 is equal to minus 1 then transformation double is well this time giving answer you can find out 3z plus 2y iz plus 6 try yourself then we have a some points may be infinite i will do later so this is the way thank you for watching our channel kindly subscribe and inform to all our friends bye